Welcome to iTech Tutorial. In this video I will be showing you how to draw a particular mechanism problem under loci. To draw this particular mechanism problem, the first step to take is to draw a horizontal thin chain line. I have already done this step using my T-square and ruler. The next thing I will do is to draw a circle on the horizontal line. In this video I'm drawing a circle of 44 mm. Having done that, I will draw a vertical line passing through the center of the circle. This step can be done using a T-square and a set square. I will label the center of the circle O. The next thing I will do is to use my 60 degree set square to divide the circle into 12 equal parts. This step should be performed using a T-square to ensure accuracy. This step can be done this way. Next, I will number the points where the lines of division of the circle intersects the circumference of the circle, this step can be done this way. Having done that, I will draw a thin chain line from point 1 touching the horizontal line. In this video I am drawing a line of 95 mm. Having done that, I will label the point where the line intersects the horizontal line B1. I will mark a point on the line I drew from point 1 touching the horizontal line. The point I will mark will be 40 mm from point B1. I will label the point P1. I will also draw a line from point 2 touching the horizontal line. The length of the line will be the same as the line I drew from point 1. Since the line I drew from point 1 is 95 mm in length, this line will also be 95 mm in length. I will label the point where the line intersects the horizontal line B2. I will also mark a point 40 mm from point B2. I will label the point P2. I will follow these same procedures for point 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and point 0.
Having done all these steps, it is time to plot the p-points. To plot the p-points, I will draw a curve passing through all the p-points. This step can be done this way using a French curve. This mechanism loci problem has been completed. Please note that the radius of the circle, the length of lines from points on the circumference of the circle, and the length of line BP may be specified in your question. If so, use the specified length. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, you can drop it at the comment section. Please subscribe to this channel. Also let us know your opinion and how you feel about this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. See you in my next video.